So imagine a keyboard shortcut where it opens your browser and goes to Google and searches for something you had in mind. So right now I'll say, when is the next US election? And then opens my browser, I'm at Google, there's a search term I had in mind, and now I can just focus on the search results. It did a lot of the dumb trivial things that usually I did myself. And while you were doing that, it kind of took your mind off of where you wanted to go, even slightly. But as far as productivity goes, and if you read a lot of those books, trust me, it matters. But next, let's see what else it can do. I wanted to go through all my bookmarks, and there's one that I named Diagram. Oh, there it is. That's the one I wanted. I'm a web developer, so I create schemas all day, and this site usually helps me. But aside from bookmarks, I wanted to go to one of my folders that I have in mind. It's called Diagrams. As soon as I type in D, look, it brings it up. So I'm going to hit Enter. And inside this folder is, yeah, let's go to this one, this folder, and inside of this one, Okay, this is the image I was looking for. Notice I didn't have to open my folder, click, 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 click. I'm just here already. And this is the video I was looking for. Next, uh, I wanted to open an application on my system. It's usually called VS Code. A lot of web developers use it. If you're a web developer, you can really attest to it. But look at how easy it was for me to navigate to the applications that I wanted to go to. Next, what if you were talking to a colleague and they said, did you see the new iPhone that just came out? And you're like, well, really? You can just go open up a URL, apple.com, and boom. It opened up my browser, went to a specific URL I had in mind, and now I'm there. Lastly, if I have an application which is already open, I just want to switch to it. So I can say switch to the open applications I have, and look, there's Google. I can hit enter it will open up the browser tab for me. There's other applications that I do have open, obviously. I can switch to those. Now, the name of this application is called Flow Launcher. You could go through its code on GitHub. If you click right here, this page should open up, and you can go through some of its code, look at the plugins that were developed, which code was used to make it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this application and then configure it to work for you. So let's get into it. Hit that subscribe button. So first we're gonna go to Google. Then we're gonna type in Flow Launcher. Hit enter, probably the first search result. For those of you who just wanna jump right to the page, there's a link in the description. Next, I'm gonna go to the download button. And over here, they give you a few options to install it. The simplest way is to click on this button, which will start the download process. We're gonna click on this, and this should start off the process. Once it's done, We'll start to click on the exe file and begin. So once it's done downloading, double click on it, and it will take a few seconds. It won't prompt you, it won't do anything, it will just install. The way to know if it's installed is go to your icon tray, and you'll see this icon, which will say Flow Launcher once you hover over it. Now that we have that, let's press Alt and Spacebar. Alt and Spacebar is the default keyboard shortcut to open up this app which is gonna open up a whole new world, a new era of keyboard shortcuts. So let's start with the Google search. I want you to hold down your Alt, hit the spacebar. This is gonna launch the Flow Launcher application. And let's put in a search term. When is the next UK election? No, I want you to notice something. As soon as I type in a search term, it knows that and it lets me know that it's gonna be treated as a Google search. So let's hit enter. And sure enough, opens up my browser, and now I see Google with my search term. I want you to close this, and now notice a problem. I'm going to hold down my Alt, hit the spacebar, and type in HR. The first thing it shows me is the HR folder I have on my hard drive. Now, that's not what I want to do. I want to do a Google search, which is showing way at the bottom, like over here. So how can I solve this problem? I want you to erase this and type in Settings. So we're going to change some configurations. I want you to go to the left where it says plugins. Now I know you see a big list here. Don't worry. I'll go through the most important ones. But if you still feel like you want to learn more, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely go through it. Now I want you to scroll down to where it says web search. Click on it once and something should pop down. And if you're scrolling and it's not working, go towards the side scroll. You should see something that says Google and there should be an asterisk next to it. I want you to double click on that and this box is going to show up. The part we want to focus on is action keyword. Right now it's set to asterisk, meaning that whatever you type, it tries to figure out if something not on your hard drive, it will then treat it into a search result. We don't want that. 
So let's type in anything that we have in mind. I'll type in Goo. You could type in Google or you can type in search, whatever you prefer. For now, I'll say Goo and then I'll say confirm. I'm going to close this and now I'm going to say Alt spacebar and I'll type in Goo. As soon as I type in Goo, it knows that I want to do a search on Google. And now I can say HR and there's no confusion. If I hit enter right now, it will open my browser and do a quick search on HR. Now we're going to talk about bookmarks. I want you to hold on your alt key, hit the space bar and type in, let me move this out, settings. On the left hand side, you'll see plugins. Click on that. Browser bookmarks. I want you to click on it once. Now this is a plugin that's in Flow Launcher. What it does is it goes through your Chrome, Edge, and Firefox browsers. It collects all the bookmarks and keeps a list of it. Now next time you say I want you to pull out so-and-so bookmarks, it already has a list of that. You can specify other browsers, uh, but for now, we're going to move over to the right-hand side. For you, you might see the action keyword asterisk. Now we don't want that. You can specify something more specific like bookmark, or you can just go with the letter B. This is something I've chosen. When I write the letter B, it pulls up all my bookmarks. I give a few hints and then it says, is this the what you want? And let's take a look at it. So let's go with B, done. We'll say okay. And we're gonna close out. I'm gonna hit Alt spacebar and then the letter B. Now here are all the bookmarks that I have. Again, I'm gonna go with DB diagram and it pulls it up. I hit enter, it opens it up for me. That's how simple it is. Now we're going to take a look at folders. So I'm going to hold down my alt, hit the space bar, and I want to search for a folder called DB diagrams, right? So if I just type in DB, take a look at everything that matches. By default, what it does is it takes a word and tries to match it with everything on your system. So now there's one that's called MongoDB. There's another one that has DB in it. Another one that has DBall. And look at how difficult it is for me to find it. Fortunately, there's a better way. I want you to erase that go to settings and now I'm going to go to plugins and then there's one called Explorer. Click on it once and then below it there will be a quick access links. Click on that menu and you'll see this where we can add something into it. I'm going to add that folder in here. So I'm going to hit add. Now it's going to allow me to navigate to the folder I want. So I'm going to click on that diagrams and let's say this is the one I want. I'm going to hit OK select folder and now it's been added. I'm going to close out, hit alt space and type in diagrams. This is the first option it gives me now. Let's talk about applications. I'm going to hit alt and spacebar. Now I can say open up visual studio and look it just showed up. All I have to do is hit the enter key. This application will be opened. Look at how easy that was. If later on I wanted to, I'll do alt spacebar again and I'll type in postman. Here's another application I use and look at how easy it is to open that up. All you have to do is type it up and it will search in your computer and find something for you. Now, next we're going to look at URLs. So what if your friend shows up and says, I want you to go to apple.com. There's some really fascinating things going on there. You can just type in URL apple.com and it will happen. So let's set that up. I'm going to go and to settings, hit enter. There's my plugins. And I'm going to scroll down until I see something called URL. I'm going to click it once. This is going to show up. And look, for action keyword, you might have something called an asterisk next to it. Right? And that means that it will try to guess when you've typed in a URL. Now, for me, that's really not that convenient. So I give it the exact keyword URL. Then I want you to hit done. Since I already have it set here, I'm just going to hit cancel. But you got to hit done. Once you've done that, Close out, hit Alt Spacebar, type in URL. Now it knows you want to open a URL. It shows you that. So now you can type in anything like apple.com. It's going to open the browser and go to exactly that URL you typed in. So let's take a look at another problem which you might face. I have this Chrome window open and among this window, I also have five, six other applications open. I don't want to go and look through all those applications. I just want this Chrome with the Apple URL open for me. So I'm going to minimize this. And if I type in Chrome, it's not going to bring up the application that's already open. What it's going to do is open another one. That's not what I wanted. I wanted it to bring forward 
the already open application that I have. I'm going to hit Alt Space, type in Settings, and then right next to Plugins is Plugin Store. This is what I want. Before, there's some plugins. Now, there's some plugins which are already installed for you, and it's out of the box. You need those. But there are other plugins which are also helpful. So I'm going to go here and type in Windows. And one of the plugins which is helpful is Windows Walker. Uh, let's just go back a little. Here is Windows Walker. I want you to click on that. It's going to give you a prompt. Do you want to install? Yes, I do. PM install Windows Walker. You have to hit enter here. And then we'll say, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Just install it. And now it's installed, hopefully. You see a small install plugin at the right-hand side. And after a few seconds, it should be done. Now I'm going to hit Alt Spacebar Settings one more time. I'm going to click on my plugins and I'm going to scroll down to where I see Windows Walker. There it is. I'll click on it once and I want you to notice something again. Asterisk. I don't want this. I want it to know when I'm directly talking to it. I don't want it to guess if I'm talking to it. So I'll click on this and I'll change the action keyword to something much more sensible. For me, it could be um, switch. I want you to switch to an open application. So that's the word I use. I'm going to hit done. Then I'll close out here. I'll hit Alt Spacebar one more time and I'll type in the word switch. It's going to bring up all the applications that are currently open on my system. Here's Chrome. That's what I wanted. So I'm, I could type it out or I could just go to the list and click. Here are a few of the things which you might find helpful. Type in settings. And then this time we're going to navigate to hotkeys. Now with hotkeys throughout this whole video, we've been hitting the Alt and Space key in order to launch Flow Launcher. So if you click on these buttons, you can change this, but you have to be careful to make sure that the keys you pick here don't conflict with an application which might be open or any other Windows keys, Windows keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to hit cancel because I think Alt Spacebar is good enough. And then next, I'm going to go to the general tab. Now in this general tab, you can see some other things that you can change. Like you can say that on startup, this application should launch, but if you toggle this to open on, what it does is it makes sure that as soon as it's started, it hides it. So this way, you don't see it right away. You only see it when you hit the keyboard shortcut keys, which kind of makes sense. Next, I'm going to scroll down to this area. If you have more than one monitor, what you can do is you can come here and say, look, I want you to open the flow launcher when I hit the keyboard keys only where my mouse is. So if my mouse is on screen one or on screen two, show it to me on that location. I'm going to scroll down further to something that I think is interesting, and it's this one. Last query style. Now, in my case, I want it to be empty. So I don't want to see the last one that I searched. I just want to be shown an empty search bar. So I pick that. Once you're done, just click away, and then it will save it automatically. Lastly, I'm going to go to Plugins. I'm going to scroll down, and then I'm going to click on Web Searches. If you scroll down in this area, you'll see so many helpful web searches you could do. You can search on Twitter. You can search on Facebook. You can search on Google Maps. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to hit down Alt Spacebar. Or if by now, if you've changed your keyboard shortcuts, then you should hit those keys. So I'm going to type in Maps, and then I'll say New York City, Broadway, and then I'll write in Pizza. It's going to open up my browser and take me directly to that location. I'm going to close this. And if you scroll down further, you can look up translate. Now, again, these are the action keywords, and this is the actual service that it's going to provide you. So if I type translate and I say translate, and now it knows that I want something translated for me. I can type in anything. I can type in bonjour and it will go look that up for me. I'm going to hit escape for now. Scroll down further, and this is the last thing I wanted to show you, which is YouTube. I can type in the words YouTube and then say Talks on Web or any other search term for that matter. And then it's going to open that up for me. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, this is a good time to do that. Take care.